So today we're going to try and fix these four broken motherboards in the dishwasher. So the first board is a gigabyte board. This one does post, however, crashes quite regularly when I turn it on. The second board is MSI 970 Gaming and the top PCIe slot does not work on that board. The next one is it just boot loops. This is a DDR2 model, so a very old board with a Pentium dual core in there. And the final board is a Maximus Hero. And the issue with this board again is it boot loops. As an additional thing I wanted to try is put in a GPU heatsink into the dishwasher to see if I can bring that heatsink back to life and get rid of some of that oxidation and corrosion on the heatsink. So don't try this at home. This is completely experimental and I just wanted to see if this is going to work. So the first thing that of course we need to do is start taking all of these motherboards apart. Now they're all stripped down and ready to go in the dishwasher. Remember, don't try this at home. I am a trained professional at putting motherboards in the dishwasher. So yeah, don't, don't try this at home. It's extremely dangerous. Of course, the first thing you want to do is just make sure your dishwasher is all empty. And uh, yeah, you just make sure you take all the items out of the dishwasher that you can. And uh, not sure what this is doing in there. If you're going to tell me what this is, um, please let me know. I don't know what that is. But anyway, um, so I'm going to put the motherboards all down on the bottom. And then I'm going to put the GPU up on the top here. So just like that. And hopefully, I think the spray nozzle should be... Well, actually, I might put it around that way because <clears throat> I think it will get most of the cleaning on the other side of that. And then the motherboards are simply going to go in like that, I suppose. This feels like a bad idea. But anyway, let's put that in and just make sure that doesn't hit anything that is going to hit one of the motherboards i think that's not good okay so now that's all in you don't want to put any soap in there you just want to make sure there is nothing and you probably have some detergent i check check your detergent or your rinse aid just make sure there's no unwanted chemicals in there you can see Medical advice is needed. I think that's what's needed for me. Putting my motherboards in the dishwasher. So yeah, I think I think you're good to go. So hope for the best. And let's see what happens when they come out. Okay, so I think it's done. Let's have a look and see how it's how it looks. It's a bit steamy in here. Let's have a look. Wow, these are super clean now. Look at that, it's just shining in the light. That looks amazing. Uh, didn't quite get off all the thermal paste, but that's fine. I can clear that up later. The MOSFETs look amazing and yeah, plenty of uh, water there. That's for sure. So let's just stick that in the drying rack for now. There we are. And let's have a look at our GPU. Let's see if it's actually done anything to this. It does look a lot better than it did before. And if we just have a look at the other side. I mean, yeah, there's still 
lots of corrosion there so I don't think it worked as well as I'd hoped but still not not too bad at all okay well I think success for the motherboards at least so let them dry off and we'll come back and uh, give them a bit of a blow and see if they work Okay, so all the motherboards are cleaned up. This is the first one. So the issue with this one is that it wouldn't start up. There was no boot and it will just boot cycle over and over again. I've just put one stick of RAM in, four gigs. That should be enough to get it going. Um, and yeah, let's uh, see the explosions and sparks happening. Again, do not try this at home. I'm a trained professional in washing motherboards in the dishwasher so yeah i'm just gonna see if it does anything i'm hoping it does post so here goes nothing well it looks like we've got lights we've got lights on the motherboard and uh let's see what happens Nope. Still the same issue. And it was doing this same thing last time. So another motherboard one. Not fixed. Still the same problem. Now moving on to motherboard number two. This one does work. Um, however, randomly crashes while it's on. It will just cut out for no apparent reason. Um, so let's see if it still works and if I can get it to boot. Uh, hopefully there's no sparks again. Let's have a look. And then I'll just get this to switch on. Is it going to boot? Did something. We have boot. But it doesn't mean anything yet because it usually crashes after a little while. So we we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So let's enter BIOS. Let's see if it can withstand the BIOS menu. This, this BIOS menu is pretty cool. I don't know what confirm resolution. All right. I mean, you got tons of options in here. Standard. Your you can add your name. Or name two, name three, and name four, which is amazing. Let's have a look at performance. Let's crank this baby up. I think we can. Oh, I don't know what I've done there. Brilliant. So, board number two. I call that a fix. So let's move on to board number three. So this is board number three. Uh, the issue with this one was that the top PCI slot was not working, um, but this 8x slot was. So I'm just going to see if the top slot now works. Let's turn it on.
I've got a feeling this this is not going to work. This is not... It's not going to do anything. But you can always live and hope. Oh, I'm getting something. Oh, shit. It just... It just posted something. Holy crap. So the top slot is now working and that is fixed. Of course, the little clip at the back of the slot is broken however I am getting an output on that top slot so yeah I call that a win two out of three that's not bad that's not bad at all just sticking your your your, your motherboard in the dishwasher that is that is pretty awesome in my book <clears throat> final board this one was just completely dead just wasn't working let's see if this one is going to work well I definitely got some lights nope it is power cycling and it's like I don't know what these lights mean. If anyone can tell me, that would be very useful. But yeah, I think I think this one's still dead. So with that then, two out of four is not bad. So if this video has helped you and uh, don't go ahead and start putting all your motherboards in the dishwasher. This is not advice from myself. And if you do do that, you do it at your own risk. And if your house catches fire, it is not my fault. So there you go. Have fun and don't do as I do. And anyway, there we catch you in the next one.